Assalamu alaikum. So now we'll learn how to perform the falling head test. And you can see the apparatus here. Firstly, we need to perform the calculations. Uh, we can use the uh, undisturbed sample or we can use the remolded soil sample for, for this test. So let's say we need to perform the uh, remolded soil sample, uh, uh, the test on the remolded soil sample. So let's have the look at the calculations. Uh, we have the uh, ring dimensions. The dia is six centimeter. The height is four centimeter. And now we'll find out the volume that comes out to be 113 cubic centimeter from the formula pi r square h. So now we have the density, uh, 1.8 gram per centimeter cube, and we have the moisture content that is 11 percent. So using these values, we can determine the mass of dry soil required to remold the soil sample and that comes out to be 203 gram from the formula density into volume. So this much amount of dry soil is required to remold the soil sample for this test. Now we have the 11% moisture content. How much the moisture or water is required to be added in the soil? So this is 11% of this 203 gram soil. So it comes out to be 22.3 gram or it is equivalent to 22 ml. So we'll take this much amount of water to prepare the soil sample. So have a look at the uh, soil amount. We have to take 203 gram of soil. Uh, this test is basically used uh, to find out the hydraulic conductivity of fine type of soil. So we'll take fine type of soil here. 203 gram. Now we have the water. The equivalent amount is 22 ml. You can see here the graduation is 22 ml. Yes. Now we'll add this water in the soil to remove the soil sample basically. We'll mix it thoroughly. So now we uh, will place this prepared soil sample in the mold using the spatula. We will compact the soil. Now the sample is ready. Now you can see that how we prepare the remolded soil sample. And now we have to prepare the assembly of uh, the apparatus. Firstly, we'll place the o rings over the base plate, and in the base plate, you can see the sandstone for drainage purposes, like this. Now we'll place filter paper over this, and in the next step, we'll place o rings over this uh, mold. Now we'll place this mold in this uh, assembly. assembly. We'll fix it properly. Now you can see it has been fixed properly in the mold. Now we'll place another O-rings over. For top lifting. Okay, now we'll place another filter paper over here. And now uh, we'll place the sandstone and we'll close this assembly. 
like this now we place it over the base plate just to fix it Okay, now the assembly is ready. Uh, so this is how we basically assemble the apparatus. Now we'll have to perform the test to determine the hydraulic conductivity of point type of soil. Now, firstly, we'll saturate the soil sample. Here you can see we'll attach uh, it with the razor wire, and here you can see the burettes, five burettes, and the tank the storage tank of water and five burettes it means we can conduct five tests at the moment and this is the uh, apparatus you can see now so we have the 40 centimeter head that will be added in the calculation in H1 and H2. Now we'll saturate the soil sample. Now we need to check how we will uh, check the saturation uh, stage is completed. When the water uh, starts flowing continuously from this from here it means the soil sample is fully saturated so now uh, we need to take the values of the observation will firstly determine h1 h2 value then time temperature and we have the fixed discharge value that is 5 ml we have to collect 5 ml of water and we have to note it down the time and the head difference so let's see now, firstly, we'll note down the H1 value and then we'll... 94.5 uh, 4. 4. 94. Okay, so 94.5 is the H1 value. 94.5 centimeter is the H1 value. Now, we'll close the razor wire and we'll start the test. And now, we'll start collecting the discharge and we'll note down the time. Now uh, we have the fixed discharge value that is 5 ml and we have to note down the time that how much time it will take to fill or to collect the 5 ml water from the soil sample that is the representation of the hydraulic conductivity of this soil. Now the important point is uh, the values for this is starting from zero but our soil sample is 40 centimeter down from the burette so we'll have to add this 40 centimeter value in the calculation phase so most importantly you can see there is not any kind of leakage from the soil sample this is a simple cylinder we have placed just uh, to collect the water uh, in this uh, cylinder so it's it's just a cylinder nothing else it's just uh, we have provided a base so now the 5 ml discharge is uh, complete you can see and the h2 value is 76.5 time is 2 minutes 2 minutes and 15 seconds so we have the time 2 minute 15 seconds and now we need to note down the temperature and the temperature you can see is 16.3 almost 16.3 degrees so we'll note down the temperature that it comes out to be 16. 4 degrees now we will perform calculation and the formula is given over here uh, the formula is k is equals to 2.3 multiplied by a a is the area of standpipe that is one centimeter square and we have the length 
and area and the time then log of h1 over h2 all the values are given then we will use these values to calculate the hydraulic conductivity so this is how we perform the calculations